It'll be Fonseca and Basu at the top of a 4-4-2. No Keziah Sterling or... The referee, Amin Hadzic, blows his whistle. We are underway at Midweek Mayhem in Statesboro. It's the defending champions, Tormenta. For Fuego, they've never really found their stride this season. They're on their second coach as well. Here is Fuego trying to ask some questions here. Or Tormento rather trying to ask some questions here in the early going. Header in, and they do answer a question. Fed right to the middle, and Tormenta inside of 70 seconds gets a Mateus Cassini goal. What a start for the champs. After two straight 3 2 defeats. There's the delivery from Davey Mason there. It has taken a long time to get everybody adjusted here as we await the whistle. Deshaun Nembhard, left foot right at Fernandez who read it well. Mosi Yunus on the run. Good cut to the inside, but didn't get enough on it with his left foot, chucked it into the turf. Rising dance partner in that USL League One Championship and triumph for Tormenta. Oh, did he get caught off his line? Oh, nearly. Fernandez was caught off his line, and Tormenta nearly turned it into glory. That's a good ball. Bijam had to get behind him, and then won it back. Right foot, and Hara had to make a diving save. That came out of nothing. This is a good ball to the left. Mason is on it. Mason, left foot in front of goal, and it's punched over by Bashua. Jackson Corey. Corey bulldozes his way to the top of the box. This falls onto the feet of Fonseca. Now Mason, low cross, there's two! Perfectly placed, and blasted into the back of the net. It's deserved for Tormenta. It's 2-0. It's Jackson Corey. And now the party is on in Statesboro. That is pretty. Cassini scored his fifth of the year. And now back the other way. Can Tormenta find a third? Oh, that's just wide. but it doesn't appear as if it was meant to be. And there's the final whistle. It was not easy for Tormenta. They made it difficult on themselves as Fuego continued to battle after converting the penalty late.